Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and my sisters, we know that God is the great center of our lives, the focus. And so often we forget to call upon God, even recognize or aware that God is with us in the midst of everything that is going on. We're here once again to be reminded of the truth. So let's take a moment now and prepare our hearts as we ask for God's pardon and for His peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may all of you not have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting
Peter said, replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him and replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the dead world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. My brothers and my sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But who do you say I am? That's the question today, isn't it? Jesus is asking us, who is he in our life? He wants to know who we are, who he is in our life. That's a great question. And I wonder if we have a moment, some time today, and think about who do we say Jesus is? Are we just speaking about Jesus in historical terms? Just the Jesus that walked this earth 2,000 years ago? Or have we made some sort of a connection? Even though we can't see him, we still feel him. There's a beautiful song called Without Knowing Him, We Love Him. Without seeing him, we still believe. I think this question is powerful because I think if we can answer this question for ourselves, we'll have a better connection to the divine. Is Jesus our brother? Is he a friend? Is he that silent companion that whatever we walk through in life, we know he's there right with us? Is he powerful words that we hold on to in the moments of difficult times? Say we're going through a fearful moment and we hear Jesus say to us, Peace be still. Or, Why did you tell? Where was your faith? Or, Fear is useless. What is needed is trust. Do we hold on to that part? We, do we say Jesus is those words in Scripture that come alive and He's in our minds at any moment we need? going through anything that we are going through. I think the most important thing is not so much how we answer this question, because that's going to be individualized. Everybody's going to have a different relationship with Jesus. But it's important to ask the question to ourselves. Is Jesus just something that I was taught as a little kid and never developed a relationship with? Is Jesus something that I learned all the little this is and the that's, and I put it all on the test and I got a great grade, but don't really remember any of it right now? Is Jesus just kind of like a Sunday thing? You know, I go to Mass and I hear his name and I say his name and I see him up there. Or is Jesus that powerful? Connection to who really, who we really are in all aspects of our life. He's not just put in a little compartment for church. He's in the midst of our workplace. He's in the midst of our families. He's in the midst of our relationships. He's in the midst of our health. He's all of that. If we allow him to do that, he's just. Why are they just standing there saying, Who do you say that I am? Who can I be for you? What do you need from me? We stand to proclaim our truth. For I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten. 
begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, for our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we know that God listens to the hearts of his children, so let us now bring our prayers to him. That Pope Francis, as successor of St. Peter, will lead the church, empowered by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those of our church community be witnesses to Christ, the Son of the living God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all suffering from natural disasters, violence, and terrorism will be given the resources to rebuild and be safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in the military, doctors, nurses, and all first responders be kept safe during these uncertain times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick, dying, or isolated due to the coronavirus will feel the healing hands of our Father, and those working on treatment and vaccine will feel His guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone before us, especially those of our parish and community, and in our book of intentions, be granted eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those spoken and unspoken prayers and intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Will be heard and answered according to the Father's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us also to remember to pray for our brothers and sisters in Beirut, for healing to come to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask, Lord God, that you grant all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, for your 
yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all. Bestow graciously upon us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changings of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in the name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so in all the angels we Praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her blessed spouse Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go. Amen.